out to all the Leos out there because you know we're so bomb. We're so much, I can't say better than the others, but we are low key. <laughs> Hello tribe! Welcome back to our channel, How Rare. Before I start this video, I'd like to say subscribe down below and also hit that bell button so you can get notified every time we post a video. This week, as you all know, actually, this whole month, as you all know, is Leo season. I don't know if you guys saw last week's video, but if you haven't, go check it out. It was my birthday vlog and they surprised me, they pulled it off, so I was so excited, I was so happy. I was so shook because I did not expect it. But anyways, I'm gonna be... I'm about to go surprise my friend right now. So I'm gonna be a little late, so I'm gonna keep this short. Um, so yeah, let's talk about Leos. I'm a Leo, it's my season, and all the Leos out there, shout out to all the Leos out there, cause you know, we're so bomb, we're so much, I can't say better than the others, but we are, low key. <laughs> Leos love attention. If you meet any Leo that tells you they don't like attention, don't believe them. That's a lie because we all love attention, but it's not bad attention. We just love getting attention from the people we love, like our family, our friends, our significant other. Anyone around us has to make us the center of attention because we love to be the center of attention. Um, 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 um Yeah, not from anybody, any shiggity diggity people. We don't care about that. We love attention. So if anyone tells you they don't like attention, any Leo tells you they don't like attention, that's false. You know, we just want to be seen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, moving on. Leos hate asking people for help. I don't know if it's our independence kicking in or if it's just it makes us feel weak or something. We hate asking people for help, so we just choose to do things our own way, uh, maybe because we just like the way things are done. Our own way, if it's not good enough, it's just not enough at all. Everyone wants someone to just like help them out, be there and like support them and everything. But it just has to be done right. If it's not done right, we don't want it. So instead of saying you didn't do it right, we would just prefer just doing it ourselves the way we want to do it. Leos tend to be too blunt, too blunt. We tend to be too blunt sometimes, too honest, but, but it can come off wrong because sometimes we tell people what they don't want to hear and they might sound a little rude or like a little too straightforward but that's just how we communicate we us being blunt is basically like it's basically being real with you but some people don't like that clearly everyone knows some people don't like it when you're real with them because it's just something they don't want to change and it's just something they don't want to hear so that might come off a little bit off but yeah, we're we're a little too blunt, and sometimes it gets out in, sometimes it gets us in trouble. But we're gonna continue to be blunt. Why? Because we're Leos. Because we're real. Because we are the leaders. Stubborn, Leos tend to be so stubborn sometimes, and it's because we do not like anyone telling us what to do. That's the last thing you should be doing to a Leo. Don't tell us what to do. We'll do it ourselves. If we don't do it, we probably have a reason to why we didn't do it. So, don't tell us what to do uh oh it's hot um yeah but yeah don't tell leo what to do so it's pretty much really hard to convince us to do something that we don't want to do in that case we're very stubborn and it could affect other people's around us but other people around us but at the end of the day um everyone has a weakness right it doesn't mean we don't compromise but we're just so hard to convince to do something that we don't want to do we don't want to do it if we say we don't want to do it we really just don't want to do it so don't try and convince us Ooh, loyalty leos are loyal to the bone we don't care if we like you we don't care if we hate you we don't care if we were friends for 10 years and all of a sudden you did something really shitty and we're not friends anymore your secret is still safe why because the loyalty is to the bone Leos always think ahead of time. That is very true, but the only problem with that is we change our mind in a second. Like within the next day, within the next five minutes, our mind, we could change our mind completely. So yes, we do try to plan way ahead of time, but it kind of doesn't help us because we change our minds so quick that you just don't know what you're gonna get. Ooh, sensitivity, okay. Leos are very sensitive. No Leo wants to admit this, but we are sensitive. We just put a um, 
we portray like a strong outlook or a, so a strong front to people but we're not no sensitive about anything silly like we're sensitive about really things that are, we are passionate about like the people really close to us we're really passionate about that and we're really um sensitive about it but we just don't show it we don't like to show it why because you know we try to be the lions you know i like this one fun and playful leos are known to be fun and playful um we really are we always like to goof around joke around if you're not a happy person if you're not a drama free person that just wants to laugh and goof around all day you just don't be around leo because leos just want to have a good time want to have fun all the time uh, the only thing is just as much as we can have fun when we're down you can feel a leo's madness because you can see it in our face you can hear it in our voice you can hear you can sense it so just as much as we're playful we can also go way low a giver leos are givers um leos as for me i would say i'm definitely a giver because i consider giving is just as much as a, a gift to me as the person that's receiving it just because it makes me just as happy um but i can't speak on every leo for this honestly i think it honestly just depends on the personality for this one um, but as far as I know, every Leo that I know of is a giver, so we'll claim it. We'll take it. It's all good. Anyways, I'm running really late for the surprise party, so I'm gonna head out. Happy birthday to all the Leos. Shout out to every Leo out there. Men, women, I don't care. Shout out to you. Hope you're having a great time for your birthday. I know it's COVID. We can't do much, but just make the best out of it. Like, just go outdoors, have a good time. Just make sure you wear your mask. Yeah, let me get right to the video. When it comes to mine, I know it's the Zodiacs are accurate. So like, I read about it this week and i've seen a few traits that hills has and like i wanted to share with you guys first and for most hills is a very fun loving person meaning she likes to go out she likes to you know she already tells you guys she likes happy hours she likes to you know um be around people she's like an extrovert um Shut the fuck up, stupid ball. Yeah, there's a ball right next to me. Believe it or not. Anywho, she is a fun-loving, outgoing person. Um, generally, fun. I'm not, like, trying to sugarcoat it or anything. She's a genuinely fun person. And, like, that's why I tell y'all... You need a Leo friend in your life because they always push you to be a better version of yourself. She always pushes me to have a better life. Like, you know, she wants me to like fulfill my dreams and pre like pushes me, not pressures me, but pushes me to be a better version of myself, which makes me very happy. And like knowing that, that there's that support, regardless of whatever I'm doing, she's always there to support me. So that, yeah. Get you a Leo friend. <laughs> She's very creative. And it says on the thingy too, so that's correct. Uh, yeah, she's motivated. She's driven. Like, she pushes her own self to be a better version of herself. And yeah, so like, I think that's great qualities that Leos have. Um, and also, she's very loving. Um, meaning, she doesn't judge you. She accepts you the way you are. And that's qualities that people not a lot of people have you know people usually try and change you don't accept you the way you are they try and put you in a box and like tell you how to act and how to be and she does not do that she's always open towards your individuality and like she wants to know you for who you are and not try and put you in a box like fit you in a box like oh you're supposed to be like this and you're supposed to be like that so like that's one thing i really like about hills and another quality i feel like all leos have is you can go and ask them for advice and knowing knowing me i usually ask people for advice and i usually go my own way but knowing that there's somebody that will give me that advice and it's like two ways. She either goes like, oh, you have to do this and you have to do that. Like, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. If you do that, that's what's going to happen. So it's like, it kind of gives you an outlook on different things. And like, it's always for the better of you. So 
they give great advice how do I, i'll just like yeah they get great advice okay they are overachievers it's just great they go out and get it like they don't say like oh i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it today she does it like it's done like she thinks about it she's done like procrastinating is everybody's problem you know what i mean i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it the day after tomorrow i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that no she plans it she does it so they don't procrastinate which is great and another thing is like they love themselves so much. Like they look at themselves and they're like, mm, I love myself. Did it? Self love, great. That's great qualities that people don't have that I feel like Leos have, and not just Leos, but a lot of people have. And she does have that quality. So I don't. I haven't. I didn't read it on like the whole Leos thing, but yeah. People say, oh, they're self-conceited. They care about themselves and only themselves. Da, da, da. No, that's called self-love. And society tells us, like, self-love is being like, oh, me, me, me. No, you have to be me, me, me. If you don't go me, 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 who's going to go you, you, you? Nobody. You know what I mean? So we need self-love. And they have that. And I look up to her for those reasons, too. And I look up to my mom for those reasons, too. They're very strong. You know, being raised by... um you know, single mom for different reasons, you know, my dad passed away, but yeah, she was very strong. She was strong for me. She was strong for herself. She was strong for our family. So I know like Leos are like very strong people. Maybe it's my mom, but yeah, even my friend Hills was very strong. So like, those are some qualities I feel like we all need and we can learn from Leos. And I feel like, oh, my arm, yo. <sighs> I forgot my um, vlogging stick at Hills's place. So yeah, I'm struggling a little bit, y'all. Hills, you better be grateful for this. Because this hurts. Anyways. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, my hand hurts. Well, after right. what I said, if you don't go and get you a Leo friend, you got issues. <laughs> anyways thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and yeah if you like this let us know so we can you know keep it going make sure you like comment and subscribe and see you next week